All right, now many parents are looking for ways to keep their children busy, but also learning. Yeah, our Emily Byer joins us live with more on finding a project to do each day. Morning, Em. Hi, Broken Fish. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my house. Um, this is how it's been going the past couple of weeks. A lot of parents working from home too, and they're looking for ways to keep their little ones busy. So the Children's Museum of Green Bay offered an outlet for a lot of parents and their mission is to continue learning. And unfortunately with the coronavirus outbreak, they've had to adapt as everyone has, and they've been doing that by going online. So they've been doing these really cool videos you can see here. They've been doing Facebook Lives and uploading their YouTube channel. They've been just really having a lot of fun with it. And they've been doing all these different projects. The program manager, Gina Anderson, has also gotten her little ones involved, her two sons, 12-year-old Cooper and 10-year-old Fisher. They've been getting involved with it too because they've had had to really go online to continue to serve the community and I want to reiterate that again they are a nonprofit so this time of year is when we have spring breaks and they get 10% of their annual admission revenue during this time during the, like the month that a lot of schools are on spring break for each each week and alternating weeks so it's been a difficult time for them to kind of continue financially to go to go through but they've been getting creative and here's what they had to say when they've been connecting with everyone online the amount of people that have been tuning in has been so awesome, but it's really important for us to continue to do that because for our mission, it's to bring play-based learning to our community, and if we can't do it in person, then we're going to do it um, through the internet. So one way that they've been doing it, I actually got started. I'm almost finished until this little one woke up, but we have a project here. They did this little rainbow project. The finished um, look is on the photo behind you and fi uh, Brooke and Fish, actually. So I've been able to kind of, here, we can see if I can one hand this, but I've just been taking little snippets of paper. This is all you need. You just need some colored clipping papers, maybe a scissors, um, some glue stick, and then a scissors if you need it. But I've been able to kind of fill this pretty quickly. And this is what I love is you get this beautiful end project of all, oh, whoa, got a little bit one stuck there. That's funny, mom, huh? But you can see you get this beautiful project with all the different textures and different um, feelings of the paper, talking to your children that way and getting those mortar neuron skills and seeing how they feel about that too. I also love how much this can really keep kids busy because it has taken me a long time just to even find the different colored paper um, out there. One of them is orange that I don't have a lot of. So finding those different colored papers, I mean, I used, um, Brooke, I know you said cereal boxes. I clipped some things from those, post it. So this is a fun project that can really keep bu kids busy for a long time. All right, thanks, Emily. You can see Wesley wants to try it out himself already. He's reaching for the paper. He's reaching probably for the glue stick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fun for all ages. Must have woke up early this morning. Happy to see him. Yeah, good to see. Seems like he's in a good mood. <laughs> and we're starting a new week here.